Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a stop motion video or a stop motion movie. There are seven steps to create your stop motion video. The first step is to think of a story. This is the hardest step. The second is to create the character. The third, make a storyboard. Fourth, make props in the scene. Fifth, get the camera. Sixth, shoot the movie. And seven, enjoy watching your movie with your family. The first think of a story is kind of hard because it's hard to think of stories for some people. But a story has six main parts. A setting, a conflict, a rising action, a climax, a falling action, and a resolution. The setting is where and who are the characters? What do they want? The conflict is what's getting in the way of what they want. The rising action is the parts leading up to the climax. And the climax is the highest part up on this little map here because it's the most exciting part. The following action is the part of the story where the conflict is being resolved and the resolution is the end of the story. It's pretty simple and if you use the story structure above you'll have a great story for your movie. For example, in my story I have a hippo who wants to take a bath. I know the character now, a hippo, what he wants, he wants to take a bath, and the setting, a bathroom. The conflict in this blue color is something is missing from his bath. He doesn't know where his bubbles are. The rising action is he finds his bubble bath, but he accidentally pours too much, and he loses his rubber ducky. That's the climax. The most exciting part is that he loses his rubber ducky. The following action is he finds his rubber duck. He's finding a solution to his conflict up here of losing his rubber duck. And the resolution is that he falls asleep in his bath. That's the end. The second step to creating a stop motion movie is creating a character. Here are questions to ask yourself to create an amazing character. What does it look like? Species, color, adjectives. Two. What do they want? Three, what's the character's personality? And four, is there something special about your character? Where does your character live? And six, how old is your character? All these are important because it affects how the character will act during the story. For example, in my story, there is a character which is the gray hippo. He is medium size. Two, he wants to take a bath. That's what he wants. Three, his personality is silly, simple, and carefree. Four, he's weird because he is a hippo who loves bubble baths. Hippos aren't supposed to love bubble baths. And five, he lives in a house in an unknown location because there's a bathroom in it. And six, he's pretty old even though he loves his rubber ducky. The third step to making a stop motion movie is to make a storyboard. To make a storyboard you'll need paper, pencils, and your brain. First, you'll split your paper into equal squares. You can do this by folding it. Two, draw or write major events in the squares. Your board should look kind of like a cartoon. You can have as many squares as you want. The more detailed, the easier it will be to make your stop motion video. The less detailed, the harder it will be, but it will be easier to make the storyboard. Mine's pretty simple. It only has six squares. And mine is Hippo takes a bath. First, he fills up the bath. Then he figures out something is missing. Third, he pours in a bubble bath. And fourth, he loses his duck in the bubbles. Then he finds his duck and falls asleep. The fourth step is to make your props. First, think about the props you'll need. Then look around the house or make them out of clay, cardboard, or tin foil. For example, I will need a bath, bubble bath bottle, a rubber ducky, bathroom backdrop, fake bubbles, and a hippo. I found and made these a bath out of, I found a doll bath, um, and then I figured that it was too big, so I used a bowl instead. I found an old miniature travel bottle to be my bubble bath bottle. 
I made my rubber ducky out of clay and I printed out, then pasted to cardboard, a backdrop. Then I used polyfill stuffing as the bubbles and used a stuffed animal, a hippo. Your props can be made out of anything, so think hard and get creative. The fifth step is to get a camera. You'll need some sort of device you can take pictures on to film your videos, whether it's a digital, digital camera, a phone, a tablet, or an iPad. You don't have to have a stop motion app to make a video, but you can download one onto your device. Just go to an app store. The sixth step, the step you've all been waiting for, is to shoot your movie. Shooting a stop motion is not hard, you just need practice. First, you'll set up your scene. Then you'll take a picture. Third, you'll move your character a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Then you'll repeat steps two to three until your movies are finished. Here's an example. I have my hippo here, and he's in his bath. I'm going to move the rubber ducky slightly. I set up my scene. I take a picture, then move him a little. Then I take a picture, then move him a little bit more. I take a picture, then move him again. And then once I'm done, I can look back at my camera, and there he will be moving across the bathtub like this. Just like that. Now for our final step. After done shooting your movie, you'll have some time to enjoy watching it. Bring on the popcorn and watch your movie. You can show it to your whole family, and if your whole family makes movies too, then you have a movie premiere. All you have to do is flip through the images quickly, and your character will come to life. For an iPad, you take the iPad and swipe really quickly. On a digital camera, you would press this button and click this button very quickly. Or on a phone, you swipe the same as an iPad. I hope you enjoy watching, and stay creative, little technologists. Bye.